what inspired me um, about the script to become involved is that underneath the lines, what's not really being said, is that um, it's a story about love. And when I say love, it's not necessarily between a couple. It's more about the love in, in a family, uh, a, mother, a, a father and a daughter, brothers and sisters. Um, amongst all the violence, how, you know, how the title uh, says, um, it really is a story about reconciliation and, um, and family value um, and survival. Well, uh, the character that I play in this story is Isabella. Isabella is an exotic dancer, um, but is also a poet. Isabella is the daughter of Alejandro, who is the Mexican uh, kingpin. The story is um, the Mexican and uh, the Russian mafias against each other. And so my father and I are estranged. We don't have a relationship. And what brings us back together is the death of my grandmother, who raised me. And, um, and so this brings us back together. There's a nice reconciliation, and um, it's just a, a lovely reunion. Uh, what I do to get in, in character uh, for any role, and for this one in particular, um, I first try to find what is something common or that I can identify with the character that I'm going to be interpreting. And, start working from there and and see because at the end of the day we're all the same we're all human beings we all you know suffer and love and go through the same things um, I did come from a tight family but this the kind of family that she has is like everyone in the family the brother the sister the uncle the aunt like everyone is involved in the in the father's family so this is different for me um, and also the fact that um, she was an exotic dancer and had no such relationship with, with her father. Um, I did do some research with um, friends that I have that um, have, are doing this or have done this at some point in their lives where they, um, for personal reasons, of course, decided to, uh, to dance because they needed the money. Um, and I wanted to really hear from them what made them do that and not you know, try something else. Um, and of course, it all comes from, from pain. Um, so delving into that world um, and kind of like taking those experiences, um, mixing them with my own experiences and, and seeing a little bit how my character Isabella would feel and, and would act according to her background and her now, um, is her strange relationship with her father and then coming back together um, with them, it's, it's, it got really emotional for me at some point because even for myself, there is a lot of similarities. The fact that even though I do have a good relationship, relationship with my dad, we, had, we did have a moment where it was somewhat cold. So at, in some points, it did get really personal, um, which helped me. And then after that, after I do you know, the work and, and you work with the psychological profile of this character, what does she do? What does she like to eat? You know, the, her motivations, her passions, her most intimate desires. Then you just let it go, um, and it lives in you, and it, it comes out on camera. Uh, I would like for the audience uh, to come away with an idea of the film that, yes, it's entertainment, um, it's fun, and it will keep you on the edge of the seats, but most importantly, that violence is not the answer. Um, it's just not the answer for anything. What's most important right now in, in life is your relationship with the people around you, with your family, love. And I know it might sound um, a little corny, but th that's the only thing that we have. Our families are the only thing that we will have. And um, violence is just never an answer. We have to find a way to be able to communicate um, with ourselves and with everyone without having to pull out a gun. Unfortunately, we've had a lot of um, unfortunate events uh, lately um, because of the use of guns, and so we're not promoting this. It's just entertainment. 
just to be a little bit more conscious. Yes, um, fans can find me on social media on uh, Facebook. Uh, my page is official Catherine Castro on Instagram and Twitter at Cat Castro. Thank you so much for being here.